human anatomy made simple. Before we enter MBBS in our 11th and 12th standard, we are studying geology and uh, botany, the anatomy of plants, anatomy of uh, animals. But as we enter MBBS the first year, we get more focused upon the anatomy of human. And uh, myself being a professor of anatomy, I try to make it simple, especially for the students who have just entered MBBS, but even for the students who are going to exit the MBBS. As we talk about uh, MBBS, after going through this course, we become Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. And we learn details of uh, human body in and out. Now, when we talk about learning, it's always about asking yourself questions. You have to keep these six friends with you, asking yourself, what is this detail about? And uh, why is it like that? When should I approach surgically or conservatively? Where should I be looking at? How should I approach? Whom should I refer my patient to? So keep asking such questions to yourself. You'll find the statement written in a book by Park, Preventive and Social Medicine, where it is mentioned about these six friends. And the more we use them, the more we become knowledgeable. Now, let me tell you a fact that when you are studying, there are Two points to focus upon. Number one, you want to become an efficient doctor, maybe a physician or surgeon, but in the process you have to pass the exams. So number one, you study for knowledge and number two, you study so that you can pass the exams. Now those exams could be your university exam or it could be your competitive exams. Now when it comes to exams, maybe your first year MBBS university exam or it could be post MBBS, the qualifying exam, Next, or the competitive exam, the need to get entry into a PG course, you have to work hard and that also with a strategy. These kind of exams, the competitive exams more so, they require strategy and then you get the confidence of entering into the exam hall. You should not be overconfident, you should not be underconfident, you should have pure confidence. And how that pure confidence comes? If you are working hard and you have a workable strategy. So what is that strategy I'm talking about? See, the approach towards any exam, maybe your university exam or PG entrance exam, it's universal. You have to understand that more than 70% of the topics are going to be repeat topics. Now, why is that so? Let us take the example of first year MBBS, anatomy as per se. The examiner is going to check your knowledge within a short duration of time. Something which you have learned over an year needs to be tested within an hour. So obviously, the examiner understands you cannot remember everything all the time. That is why there are some repeat topics and more than 70% of the questions come from those repeat topics. That is why the previous year questions become very important and especially the last 15 years so that you know what is the latest pattern of questions coming. And if you go through them, you will know the hot topics for the exam. And as you work upon those hot topics, you're making sure that you are getting more than 70% percent score in exams you have to know everything about few topics and you have to know few things about every topic it means you have to focus and defocus certain topics you have to know in and out and rest of the topics you just skim through them fast let me give an analogy for you to understand the importance of previous year questions see our brain is working like a computer and like a computer will have a hard drive for storage of memory and the ram random access memory it is the random access memory which we are using more often especially when it is about the exams and what about the hard drive? In the hard drive, we keep filling in the information which we learn throughout MBBS. Obviously, this information is enormous and the hard drive moves slow. So it cannot help you in the competitive exams which are conducted in a duration of just three or three and a half hour. So what we are using in the exam is random access memory and that is a strategy. You have to practice as many previous year questions as possible so that you keep filling your RAM with the necessary information. You have to focus upon some of the things which are frequently asked 
and thus raiding your random access memory for the occasion. Now the students always ask regarding the study material, which books should we read from in the first year? It is a name which everybody knows about BD Charasya. Especially these days as it is getting edited, the book will have the dissection methodology, it will have the embryology given, histology given. Of course, it's a book of gross anatomy, clinical anatomy, radiological anatomy means it becomes all in one kind of book for anatomy purpose, especially for the first year because first year is only having a duration of one academic year. You cannot explore the other books that frequently. For example, if you are talking about histology, you can read it from Indrabir Singh, maybe even embryology and Visham Singh for neuroanatomy. Though as I said, Bidichurasya itself has a lot of neuroanatomy included. Then somebody might tell you the name of uh, Grey's Anatomy or maybe Last Anatomy, Kethel Moore for Clinical Anatomy. These are all good books to enhance your knowledge. Langman Embryology, Macmin Atlas, Ross Histology, Barn Neuroanatomy. But the point is the list is endless and you don't have time, especially in the first year. Maybe once your MBBS is over, you can go back to these books and enhance your knowledge, but not before getting a PGC. So during MBBS, you'll find there is a huge list of books. This is my Kindle and uh, I keep reading all the books with the latest editions. Like you see here, Williams Obstetrics, the latest edition. I'll have the old editions also. Here it is, Sebastian Surgery, but the latest edition which has come previous year only. So what is the purpose of showing this list? of Harrison Medicine. I started reading Harrison from edition 14 and I have all the edition 15, 16, 17, 18 and now it is 20th edition. There may be cardiology, urology, orthopedics, all the latest editions, even USMLE 2021. See, anatomy cannot be segregated. It has to be interdisciplinary approach. You're going to be a clinician. You may be starting with anatomy, but then you have to keep correlating it with other subjects. And that is what I have done when I have authored this book, Sara, Self-Assessment and Review of Anatomy. This is a book which will take references from all the 19 subjects, maybe surgery, medicine, pathology, physiology, even biochemistry, though it is remotely related with anatomy as such. So this is kind of 19 subject in one book. That is how I teach anatomy. And that is how it should be taught. And it's very important to practice the last 15 year MCQs. Now we'll have some doubts, obviously, listening to these video lectures or attempting some of the MCQs. So there is a premium club on Facebook and the dream team is with you. Maybe biochemistry or obstetrics or pharmacology or medicine, ENT, all the 19 faculty in the dream team. They are at your service, trying to make your learning comfortable. You can ask them questions and get the prompt answers. As far as my introduction goes, I am Dr. Kaushal. My MD is in anatomy from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi. In my time, there used to be only one AIMS. Now there are several AIMS throughout our country. MBBS is from Government Medical College, Bangalore. And it's been almost 20 years teaching anatomy to the undergraduates, postgraduates, and PG aspirants. See, we have a common mission. Finally, we have to maximize our scoring and ranking so that we get a PG seat post MBBS. And that should be in a subject of our own choice and at a location of our own choice. It's always good to have a clear picture in mind. I want to become a surgeon, a neurosurgeon, and that too at the premier institutes like Ames, New Delhi. So that kind of a clarity of thought is good for us. Your mission is to reach here and my mission is to make the journey a bit comfortable. And may God bless you in all your endeavors.